apparently there's change of life for me as well, the grumpy old men syndrome. <laughs> Could this be the male menopause, I wonder? It affects men in their 40s and upwards, and here to explain the syndrome is Mark McKeon. Hello. Ed, Zoe. What is grumpy old men syndrome? Well, unfortunately, it's something that a lot of us get when we uh, reach a certain age. Not you, Ed, of course, because you've got a long way to go I'm to so get to that point. Too. I'm so happy I'm so happy. I'm not sure. Hey. But we tend to lose about 1% of our testosterone every year from about our mid-20s. So, yes. Do you? Yeah, and it's not just about, you know, the guns and your skin and so on. And uh, testosterone has a big impact on mood. So by the time you might get to 45 or 50, then you just have less of that testosterone driving your mood. And there's also social factors. A lot of men get to a point where they think... The best part of their career might be behind them, their kids might be grown up, they don't see such excitement in the future, maybe physically they've dropped one or two rungs on the ladder and yeah. a combination of those things mean they just they just get in this malaise and this, this grumpiness. Do you think that they are aware of this and how can we make grumpy old men like you aware of this? Well, that, that's the point, that's the whole point because so many men aren't aware. It's like, oh, I'm not grumpy when you say that. <laughs> And that can be hard for their partners and people in their life to actually let them know about it because the very first thing is being aware because they don't even realise they're in a fog. They just get a bit angry about things. They just feel a bit lethargic. And, and we just put them in the grumpy old men box, that's don't right. we? And everyone seems to have one. So how long do these moods last? Is it decades or will it be just a matter of minutes, half an hour here, an hour there? Well, it tends for a lot of men to become their habitual state. So they're just in this... Forever grumpy. <laughs> and worse and worse as you go. But but there are things you can do about it. What are those things? Just well, to wrap this up. Good old exercise, but especially strength training. Strength training ah. really boosts testosterone. Periods of intense focus on, on a crossword or woodwork or writing an email. I call them go zones, times when you just really, really focus. That helps your memory and so on as well. Hurry up and give us the other one. That's right. Food, good food. So you want, you know, your zinc and your potassium, so the spinach and all that sort of st all that sort of stuff. And you can supplement, but I'd, I'd certainly get a doctor's advice before you did that. Fascinating. Fantastic checklist. Not grumpy, just interesting. Yeah, we're just interested. Thank you so, so much. Great to meet you, mate. Right. Thanks for that.